What's up YouTube? It's getting real around here. So, last night uh, I finished that cleaning video for the Jeep and uh, we posted it. It sold in three hours. Ended up selling for 2,600 bucks. So we made 1,300 bucks off of it. In three hours we had it for what a day and a half. Um, cleaned it and that's it. So we gotta get to this one. They put a $300 deposit down. Um, they're coming tonight to pick it up. He messaged me and he's like, man, I don't have all the money on me. Would you take a deposit? I'll come right now. I like those kind of people. I said, yep. So came, drove it, bought it. But we got this one sitting here. I got to get to work on. But before that, we're going to go work on this truck. I already bought my transfer case, which is right here on the floor. But before I just blindly go ahead and put that in and take that guy's word for it, Maybe he didn't know much about cars. Maybe we should try to drive this and get it in four wheel drive or see what it does. It could be that front actuator. Gosh, look at this weather. It's already here. Man. So let's get in this thing and see if we can get it in four by four or what's happening. Cold start. Sounds good. Oh yeah, that's right, the fuel gauge on this one works sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't. So, this is my actuator here. Let's try to pull this thing down in four high. See what she does. Says I'm in four wheel drive up there. Sure feels like it's engaged. Oh, that's the chain skipping. So, let's go do some U-turns down here in the cul-de-sac, see what this thing sounds like. That'd be front end. See, I'm not too convinced that it's the transfer case. I need to get all four wheels off the ground and see what this thing does. Alright, let's pull it in. Alright, boy. After a crazy hectic day, we finally got this thing up on jack stands. I got this thing drained and prepped, ready to go. Um, I'm going to get some lights underneath here and we will start tearing this thing out. Let's see how fast we can get this one out. Um, I've done a few of them now, so should be should go smooth. Guy's going to be here 7.30 to pick that up. It's a goner. And uh, yeah, looking good. But here's our T-case, literally, it's simple, you know, your gear changer there, you got one plug there, and I've got another one I saw somewhere, oh, right here. So, we've got two plugs, and just kind of want to look it over, because once, you know, you're up in there, you're not going to be able to see this stuff. Um, but I ordered my gasket last night, and the guy said, oh, well, it's got a... It's not here. I paid for it. It said be here at 9 this morning. Um, he never ordered it. So when I went there, it was a big hassle getting this. But this is your gasket. If you ever do a transfer case on a Chevy, do not skip this part. I'm telling you, you'll hate yourself because you'll be pulling that back out because she will leak tranny fluid right at that seam. Well, and I'm going to say it again. I cannot believe that this is the only thing that holds that transfer case up. No brackets, no undercarriage. It literally just dangles off that end, all that weight. So, weird. But, all right, let's get to it. I need to get some lights hooked up. That's what I like to see. New oil filter. We do have a new tranny, you can tell, because as soon as I saw that, I knew that exhaust has come out. 
and you have to take this out and this out to get that tranny out. It's nice and clean. You can tell she's been out, so it's got a new tranny in it. Um, we've got our transfer case seal right there, which you can see the newer gasket. Nice. So, easy as pie, I guess. Let's start with these drive shafts, which is a 7 16 We'll get them off and you can tell, you can see the mark. This bolt, this has been dropped before, so I mean, this could actually be pretty darn easy. How do I keep getting so lucky? It's got new brake lines. Um, let's see, what else? It's got all kinds of new stuff under here. We scored on this one, thousand bucks. You can't beat it. All right, we've got the drive shafts out, both of them. I've got the skid plate out. So, all it is now is I've got to pull them bolts out there, let that drop a little. We'll be working our way around that thing. This thing will be out in no time. It's going pretty good. Um, these rubber boots on the drive shaft, some kind of fight you, but once you get it off, you're good to go. Yeah, I think it's only like six bolts. So, we'll get it. And there it is. Man, that thing gets heavy quick. I was still connected on this dang vacuum line and it was stuck in there, but managed to get it without making a huge mess. I mean, tranny's dripping a little bit. I'm gonna run that jack underneath, make that level for now until I scrape my gaskets and prepare the surface. I've also got to prepare this surface Get it nice and clean so that gasket will sit on there pretty. And uh, we'll put some Yama Bond on there or some gasket seal, whatever I got laying around. Get that bad boy back in. That's where I wanted to get tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll start prepping, getting things ready, and we'll start new. What in the hell is that? Is that out of the freaking transfer case? No way. What the? It's like goop. Wow. That might be chain shards. I do want to open this up and let it drain because I want to see what comes out of here. We're going to do that tomorrow too. I've got it all. Got it propped up. It's going to sit there like that for the night. Next day. Look at this, man. Just turn into winter. That's leaves on top of the snow. Oh, that's gonna get nasty quick. Look at this. Winter is here. I love it. So, we definitely gotta get this ready because it's snowing. This is gonna sell instantly. So, last night we got that out, saw that. Today we're gonna get all these gasket surfaces ready. I want to clean that one up a little bit. We're going to throw it in, cross our fingers, hope it works. So, yeah, nothing to it but to do it. So, let's get underneath here and get this done. All right, you can see I've gotten a lot of the gasket material off. Biggest thing is you want to get it off around these where it tends to stick. If you got a piece that sticks out, fluid's just going to drain out of there. So, get all this cleaned up real good. And, uh,. Throw this bad boy back in. Hopefully it goes as easy as it came out. Alright, this side's pretty good. You see we've got a little build up around all the bolt holes. So we want to clean that up. What's it look like inside there? Look good. So 
Let's clean this up and uh, get some goop. Go to town, see if we can't lift this thing in here. Transfer cases are so hard because they're, they're such an odd shape that there's no real good way to put it on the jack because one end hangs lower, you know what I mean? So it's almost just easier to lift it in by hand, just bench press it up in there. And uh, once you get it in here, you can set it on this back arm, shove your bolts in and it'll hold itself. But yeah, we're getting it. Getting better at this. Biggest thing is just getting that spline to line up, man. That thing's ridiculous. You don't want to put one bolt in tight or one nut and have the weight of the transfer case on that. You break this thing, you'll be sorry. Then we're going back to the junkyard, buying a spacer, and doing what we did on that last shot. Huh. You don't want to do that. This will even pressure all the way around this ring. Transfer cases are actually pretty easy. <laughs> Voila! Alright, the case is in. Alright, it was going so well I stopped filming. So, I've got my cross member in, my uh, mount, I got my front drive shaft in. Now, we're going to put in the back drive shaft. It's right there. Whenever you take a drive shaft out, always tape them U-joints. Otherwise, you're going to be losing a cap and you will be replacing that U-joint. So, if you're going to take it out and it's going to sit and, or it's going to get moved around, make sure you tape that end up. So, I think all I have to do is put this rear drive shaft in and then I'm ready to test drive it. So, let's get that done. Drive shafts are in. I believe transfer case is done. So now what I've got is this exhaust that just looks like it fell off to me. Um, he said he cut it off because he liked the way it sound, but nobody likes the way that sounds. It's not clean. So I've got this cherry bomb. Thinking about putting it on there. Let's do a uh, let's do a cold start. See what this thing sounds like now. Yeah, I'd say that sounds rough. So, I know it's more work for me. I think I'm gonna hook up my welder. We're gonna get this welded in here. I believe I've got a tailpipe up there, I'm hoping. I'd really like to get this coming out the back. Um, if I can get it to come out the back, I'll be happy. We ended up getting it done. Somehow the last half of my video didn't record or the file corrupted, something happened. But I just realized while I was editing, but we got the tailpipe in. It all turned out really well. It's all on there. Got two new hangers in there. As you can see, got different wheels on there. Cause I shot that video the other day and then I made another video yesterday at the junkyard, so we got those. And while I was editing this one, I realized that I'm missing half my video. So we're going to have to end it here, guys. Stay tuned. Um, this thing just got posted today, so you'll see where it goes, how much we make. But listen to that thing. That just sounds so much better. So there it is. That's how it turned out so far. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for all your support. Um, everything you guys do in your comments. The new subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. So, 
Leave a comment. What do you think I can sell this thing for? We, uh, we picked it up for a thousand bucks. We got, what did I pay for that transfer case? 75 bucks. Um, got it done. We got these tires cheap. You're going to have to see the next video, see what I got those for and where I got them. Uh, thanks again, guys. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Peace.